Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benacer in central midfield and getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Sergei Milinkovic Savic plays alongside Luis Alberto in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Chiro Immobile. And the match is underway. Leao, tremendously strong in the tackle, Krunic, well nothing comes of it, an effective ball, Krunic, brilliantly blocked, Oh, he squandered the opportunity. He might be relieved, though, to see that the offside flag is up. Well, the linesman's sparing his blushes here, but you have to say it was a shocking effort. Not every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line, and Olivier Giroud falls in that category. Stuart? What should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Milinkovic Savage. Danilo Cataldi with it. Perfect challenge. Rafael Leao. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. Cataldi. Milinkovic Savic. That 
was perfectly timed and it is going to be a corner Delivering it. Well, nothing comes of it. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence he has stopped play. And so play will be restarted by means of a drop ball. Rafael Leao. Hernandez. Zero! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, as you can see, he's so alive to the rebound. He's first to react and then he gets his reward. It's a good goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Luis Alberto. Zacagni. Good tackle. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Can they convert? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. And you need your defender to take charge. Oh, great vision. The cross towards Olivier Giroud, who's waiting at the back post. Able to close down the shot. Given away by Milan. Chiro Immobile. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Could cross it in here. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza.
Well, a terrific showing from Olivier Giroud in the first 45. Stuart, I know you very much enjoyed it. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Hernandez. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Anderson. On to Milinkovic Savic. Immobile. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And time for the change now. Well, opting for the short corner. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Brahim. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. No doubt, they go to work moving it around again. Now, high-quality defending. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Giving it a try. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Body on the line. Radek Krunic. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. So making the substitution now. Messino. Luis Alberto and a timely intervention he takes aim and that's sound goalkeeping to the box a well, full marks to him for that header but the goalkeeper did his job growing pressure here and another corner and over comes the corner well being closely marked but the header nothing to write home about illegal play and hence a free kick Felipe Anderson for attacking possibilities this could square the game absolutely spot on with that challenge Junior Messias can they do something positive on the counter attack Calabria Diaz Leal very quick thinking there. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. 
Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. A chance to whip it in. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Underway. The space for them here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Immobile. How about the cross? Luis Alberto. Can he get one back? Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. But hang on, offside is the decision here. Now we can say it's final, and we can say that Milan have officially prevailed. I wonder what you felt about their overall performance. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.